Hey there, Smoke Master D coming at you again with another episode of Barbecue Buyer's Guide. This time, I'm going to be looking at the competitors of the Workhorse Pits 1975T. All right, and here I've got some chapter times for you. You know, if you want to skip ahead to any of these points in the video, please do so. Also, please like and subscribe uh, to this channel. I'm trying to put out new content for you all as I can. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, help you with a lot of different things barbecue related. Let's take a look at these maps. Uh, I always like to include maps uh, when we have these larger, high price, heavier smokers, just because the shipping plays such an important uh, cost in the overall cost. Uh, so, you know, some of these smokers you may have to pick up, maybe you can't ship. That makes uh, the distance to them even more important. But let's take a look. So Yoder Smokers is up there in Hutchinson, Kansas. Then we have Horizon Smokers in Perry, Oklahoma. Bell Fabrications in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We have Big Phil's, uh, which is just outside of Dallas. Lone Star Grills, north of Houston. In Houston itself, we have Texas Original Barbecue Pits and Pits by JJ. Uh, over, I believe it's Natchez, Mississippi. It looks like it's almost in Louisiana, but Pitts by Tez is right in that area. Shirley Fabrication is in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Workhorse Pitts is in Coal Mountain, Georgia, or Cumming, Georgia, up in Forsyth County above Atlanta. They are moving. They're creating a, a new campus. I think it's going to be maybe in Columbus, it's still in Georgia. Uh, it's been a while since I heard where, um, but it will still be in the Georgia area. Mystic Smokers in Social Circle, Georgia there, also close to Atlanta. All right, why am I doing this episode? So I had another episode recently on the Workhorse Pits 1975, the one that's not on a trailer. And I was thinking about this trailer version a lot of people are liking it uh, i've seen it in several youtube videos uh and the question occurred to me what else is out there that's on a trailer like this uh that has a similar amount of space in the chamber so that's what we're going to look at the requirements for for the ones that are in this show are going to be that they have between 90 and 120 gallons traditional flow smokers uh, I took away the requirement for a smoke collector, so we're going to look at some that don't have that. Now, the Workhorse Pits 1975 has about 94 gallons of internal space. So if you take any smoker that has a chamber that's two foot by four foot, uh, you know, that's a cylinder, uh, it's going to have 94 gallons of space. All right. But this allows us to look at some of the 120 gallon um, tank smokers with the uh, greats there, they're pretty similar. You'll see that in the charts, but let's take a look at uh, some of these smokers now. And starting off with the champ. All right, so here's the 1975 T, right? It's got that fold down stack that Workhorse and Primitive Pits before them, their sister company, is, is known for. Uh, so that they've got the Pro Port. Wood basket on the front. I like the placement of the wood basket. Uh, I know, you know, you're going to have to pull it around to the back to use it, but uh, just sort of as the flow of the outline of the trailer, I like it. Uh, there are some upgrades. So if you want that second level rack, it's $111. Cowboy Firebox is $120. So that means that there's a that door and grate there for, you know, cooking in the firebox cover is going to run you $270. So very simple in a lot of ways the smoker is, but uh, the, the one main selling point uh, that a lot of people have noticed is the uh, computational fluid dynamics. So use a computer to make this thing uh, to have the airflow that it should have. Uh, I noticed when Jeremy Yoder was taking a look at this smoker, uh, and I'll I'll try to put a link to that in, in the description, you know, he thought that the smoker maybe had too much draw, too much uh, airflow, 
So he uh, tamped down with that top damper. Uh, so it's it's hard to say exactly if uh, the airflow, how beneficial it is. Mike Rain uh, in his uh, YouTube channels goes through using this actual pit and uh, the damper and how to use it correctly. Uh, but, you know, it's not just wide open all the time. Uh, I also think that it has the, the most even heating with a fully open damper. Uh, the airflow is interesting, and, and some of the stuff that Mike Rains talks about maybe could be generalized to other smokers that we're going to look at. Uh, so this thing is well-balanced. I don't want to discount that at all, uh, and it has a whole lot of airflow. Is it too much? Um can you get the same amount of airflow in, in some of these other ones? Those are questions I can't really answer, but I did want to let you know that that is sort of an ongoing debate and that this one has enough airflow to be really effective, especially if you use the damper, uh, as Mike Rain's video uh, suggests to do. All right, another wonderful thing about Workhorse Pits is this economy shipping option, right? So I live in North Carolina. Uh, if I got this 1975 T, it would be $708 to get it to me. You know, it could be well over that for regular shipping, you know, with the lift gate service. So uh, they take a trailer that is enclosed and put as many uh, smokers in and make a run to these various regions. So uh, it is really great for this economy shipping. Uh, I think that Shirley Fabrication does something similar with what they call the sled. Uh, and there's a guy that sort of runs that outfit. Uh, but very effective. I think this is a safer option for shipping if you're, you know, they're actual people. It's an in-house service. So I really like their economy shipping option. Now the contenders. We're going to start off with Bell Fabrications. Uh, I actually have a smoker from Craig Bell. Uh, this is the two foot by four foot on a trailer. Apologies that the um, picture is a little bit grainy, but it is uh, $2,400. Uh, there are some upgrades on there that, uh, you know, would make that price a little bit higher. And we're going to talk about those. But we're also going in the order of least expensive base price to most expensive. So this is the least expensive one here with Bell. Uh, Craig, he... He doesn't like to, to make things super expensive. I think he puts out a good smoker. Uh, it may not have all the fit and finish as some of the others, but it still works. Mine still works really well. I've put out some amazing barbecue on it. Uh, so for whatever, you know, lack that it has, it still does what I needed to do pretty well. All right. And here are a few more pictures. So there are the double pullout racks. Uh, it has a, a front shelf there. Both of those are standard. Okay, and here are the upgrades. So this wood basket on the side is going to run you another $200. Extra firebox door, $60. So I didn't get that, and uh, I wish I had because I, I added the, the second secondary door myself. In fact, I made a video on it. Put a link to that above. Uh, but smoke collector, if you want one of those, another hundred dollars, a uh, fold down stack. Uh, the first time you ever did that was for me. <laughs> that's another $50 grill in the firebox. Okay. So that's another 50 linseed oil treatment. I, I did mine myself. Apparently he started doing it. Some it's another $150. Uh, it's well, if you're getting linseed oil, it's well worth it. Uh, because it is uh, one of those things that it's sticky, not entirely easy. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a it's a process. I actually made a video about that too. Um, I'll link that above. All right, and here we have pits by Tez. Tez is uh, a builder, and this is the PBT one hundred and twenty offset, the Champion S. So base price is three thousand nine hundred and fifty. Take a look at a few of the features. So we've got that prep shelf. It's pretty long like that. Wood storage box, uh, double doors, pull out racks. So double pull out racks on either side. Square fire box. Um, 
Now, you can get that firebox insulated. I didn't get a price for that. Uh, he gave me the price for several other things, though. Uh, 175 extra for a lighting assist system. So, you know, if you want for pain burner in your uh, firebox to light your charcoal or wood, 125 um, for a single burner or fryer, 150 for uh, two charcoal racks, uh, which I'm supposing maybe that's in the main chamber, uh, maybe in the firebox. Didn't, didn't specify when I talked to him about that. Custom for extra plasma cutting emblems. The, the top right, I, I grabbed a picture of one that he'd done. I think it's a uh, football emblem there. Uh, not big into sports, but a lot of people are. A lot of people like to do uh, sports with their, their barbecue. And, you know, if you want that kind of artistic work, maybe uh, Tez is the guy for you. And here we have Pits by JJ. Rule the smoke. <laughs> All right. Um, like I said before, they're out of Texas, I believe, in the Houston area. Uh, base price of $4,775. So uh, in Texas, there's a lot of pit makers, uh, you know, and, and this is one competing uh, with all of them. Has that Bulldog Jack that apparently comes with it. Let's take a look at some of the other other things. Texas shaped damper. Okay. Um, we're going to see another Texas uh, shape uh, at the top here in a second. Ample prep space. So look at that long shelf. Uh, a lot of wood and storage space. So it seems more than usual. So if, if that's one of your concerns, this could be the, the smoker for you. It's got the light kit. Uh, and that basically just means that it has the lights on the back. You know, the turning signal, the brakes, all of that. All right. And here we're looking at the pullout racks. So they're all pullout, uh, which one thing I didn't mention about the workhorse pits is its bottom rack is not pullout. Uh, just the top one, if you get that option. Texas shape on the top damper there as well. All right. And here is the Texas Original Barbecue Pits Luling Smoker Trailer. Uh, now... They are not currently in production, which is why I'm not going to go into a lot of details on this one. This is not the 24 by 60. They use the same picture on their website for all of their trailer smokers. I think they're revamping the website. Hopefully they will. There's a lot of inaccuracies on it. Uh, and one of them, the, the reason I called them actually was uh, the, an inaccuracy that I found that I needed clarification on. They're like, oh, we're not making these smokers right now. Maybe middle of next year. So, um, but this is more, so this is a 26 by 60. So the, the length of this is the right size. It's just two inches larger than what they actually sell there. But that's the Texas original pits. And um, maybe in the future, they'll be back on for sale. And, um, but I'm not going to talk any more about them right now. And here we have Mystic Smokers. So, there's a guy who sells these. He builds them himself. Uh, he sells them on Etsy and his website. So if you ever seen a smoker on Etsy, it's probably this guy. Uh, he also sells uh, parts. You know, uh, when I did my episode on the back door, I actually bought my door hinges from him. But this 120 gallon is five thousand two hundred dollars. And you can upgrade uh, the for a searing grate and door for 225 Now, this is quarter-inch metal. The, the thing about this is it's a tank smoker, and he gets different tanks. He sandblasts them uh, to get whatever out of them. So one thing, you know, is that some of the tanks are different sizes a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe they'll be wider, maybe thicker. Uh, so it kind of depends on the tank. But the other thing is that I wanted to, to share is he only charges $300 extra for his 250 gallon smokers. So uh, a little bit larger and, and not a whole lot more expensive. Of course, you know, the parameters of what I'm trying to do on the show make it so that I'm only covering the 120. But if you're going for a Mystic Smokers smoker, you might consider uh, upgrading. This is the only picture they had of the 120, which is why uh, I think this is it. This is the only slide. All right, now we have Horizon Smokers. 
So this is their 24 single door smoke trailer. And they, and this is really sort sort of annoys me, but some of these websites don't have the stock version as a picture. So you look at this picture of this smoker and there's a bunch of upgrade options. When you look at it, you know, this isn't the smoker you would get for $5,200, right? So, you know, the stainless steel slide out tables, 425. Uh, extra from thermometers 45 uh, 12 by 48 stainless steel front shelf 280 um, step up fender there uh, with LED lighting on the back is $400 so you know all of that together is going to take you above 6,000 right but the base price is 5200 so it also comes with this counterweight, comes with a pot warmer, flame style rear door. So that is standard. Uh, I like the flames. It looks kind of cool. Uh, that's the regular fender there, you know, that's not step up. Uh, the fold up swivel jack uh, also comes standard. Customer choice of trailer color. See how this one's a nice blue? Um, yeah, you don't have to pay extra for the, those colors. They will paint it. Pretty much any color they have so many choices of colors it's a little crazy a little crazy how many you can get for your trailer there all right this slide out table also comes standard but if you want it to be stainless steel it's a 425 uh we're gonna see this also on the yoder so but yeah i think it's cool you know you have the storage inside table as well uh two for one uh very very cool and now here we are with Shirley Fabrication. So this is the two by four traditional flow on a trailer. The price for it is $5,450. Shirley has a website, but it hasn't been updated in years as far as I can tell. So going to look on their website is not gonna help you at all. Uh, they have some YouTube videos that they've put out about this, which is where I've gleaned most of this information. Also emailing Tyler. He's uh, the son and a father son duo that owns this company. Uh, the father makes the YouTube videos. Uh, and this is, is one that he has made. Let's take a look at it though. There's a lot of Shirley fans out there, uh, who are very passionate about their smokers. Uh, they make mostly reverse flow, but they started making these traditional flows. And here's a little more on it. So um, prep shelf, uh, aluminum wheels with LED lights on the back, a butterfly damper on that door. Um, so the, the fold down stack, they do it different from anybody that I've seen. They have that uh, hinge that is connected to the main chamber that you can put the stack up and down. Um, got some little hold that uh, is on the top of the stack. So when it comes down to the, the main chamber, it stays in place there. They have a removable wood basket on the back. A very slick, good looking smoker. It has the linseed oil treatment, just like the workhorse pits. Uh, so yeah, there's a better uh, picture there of the hinge probe port. Also has that bottle opener, ball drain, nice big two inch one. Um, I don't know if uh, the son, when he makes his, if he uses the, the bigger ball drain or not. Good thing to ask if you buy this smoker. So some upgrades, grill in the firebox is gonna be 275. Uh, stainless steel shelf with backsplash is 575. Uh, the pullout top rack comes standard. So that's, you know, an upcharge for the workhorse pits. Uh, from his videos, it looks like this thing runs really well. Uh, so, you know, if you had any questions about, uh, the engineering and the, the airflow, it seems to do, do pretty well that way. Uh, but there is the Shirley fabrication smoker. All right. And now we got big fills, uh, smokers and metalworks. So this is going to be the backyard model and you can get it several different ways but one addition is the single axle trailer so that's an upgrade so that upgrade with its base price is going to bring you to five thousand five hundred dollars all right 
and uh, they have a lot of upgrades and I just took a screenshot and threw it up there. Uh, you know, insulated firebox. Uh, I think that that is, is their insulated firebox there. Uh, but I think that it comes standard, so it's maybe part of the higher price. Second level pullout, uh, great though, is $150. Can go down here if you want stainless handles, $50. Six inch chrome stack, $375. Uh, they didn't put a price for the expanded 10 inch deep metal shelf. Uh, perhaps that changes. Uh, so there isn't any prep area unless you pay for it. Stainless steel shelf per foot. Um, so, you know, the price of stainless steel has been really volatile. So I can understand why they took that off. You probably call, have to call to find the current uh, price. Three inch tell true. Um, so the each each extra tell true that you want on there, $50. Looks like it comes with one standard. You see that at the front there. Uh, probe $20 each. Golf cart wheels, so that's not going to be on this one. We got the trailer option, which is uh, their single axle, axle trailer for two thousand. Um, wood storage trailer upgrade, so four hundred and fifty. So um, I guess that's an extra four hundred and fifty on top of the two thousand. It looks like we see a uh, wood storage there on the side of this picture, right? Um, and this is uh, another of the same, I believe, with even more upgrades, the fold down stack, uh, the wood storage trailer. So we see a little better picture of it there. Um, it looks like a storage box there as well. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how much that cost. Expanded shelf on the front, a custom paint job. So um, I believe that's also an up upcharge. Uh, double doors as opposed to a single door. All right, and here we have the Yoder smokers. So this is the Yoder Chisholm 1. Yoder's pretty popular. Uh, this picture, however, is not the base model. Uh, that annoys me, but it's it's just something that happens. Um, this Chisholm 1 is $6,395. Not to be confused with the Chisholm 2. And I, I'm taking it that this picture is the right Chisholm but the second one, Chisholm 2, is longer, so the main chamber is longer. Uh, and I've only included things on this page that come standard. The pot warmer is one of those, but as you can see, this picture has the upgraded firebox. It's cubic, so um, ordinarily it's going to come with a rounded firebox with a pot warmer on it. Uh, propane log lighters included. The slide out table. Okay, so we saw that with the horizon. So it's basically the same design. Uh, it has both temp gauges are included on this one. You see the positioning is, uh, you know, what it is. It's uh, one's down on the bottom, one's on the top, which is different from the horizon that has them both equal. When I talked to the owner of horizon, he, he told me that it was better to have them uh, at the same uh, level, so you can tell the difference better. Because he said, with uh, you know those uh, deflection plates on the firebox, the heat was going to bounce down and then up. So those would be the same temperature uh, anyway. So you know, but anyways, uh, that is what is included here. And this, these are all the upgrade options. Um, so I wanted to point out the ones that are in the picture here that I'm for sure are there. So the square firebox with the broiler uh, style door is 850. If you want it insulated, it's 1050 extra. You got the double burners there, um, which is an extra 449. Uh, when I look at this, all these upgrades, it's almost uh, you know just overwhelming, really, you know uh it's uh you know you have others like workhorse pits it's like here are three decisions you have to make then you have others like yoder that it's like there's there's 20 things that you can choose from so you know you can see all these here i i don't know that i want to read all of them you know electric brakes uh you know front cargo area with tie downs uh, extra vertical chamber. I think we're actually going to see that one. So there's that vertical chamber, the 26 by 50 
with six cooking racks inside. That's an extra three thousand two hundred and ninety five dollars. Uh, you can also get a pellet smoker added to your offset smoker. Uh, as you see that picture there, so that's $2,695 uh, extra to throw um, that YS640 on there. You know, maybe you want to finish your cook that way. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the vertical chamber, jumping back over to the other picture. Uh, I feel like, you know, the offset smoker, that horizontal draw is what makes it, you know, what it is. So, but, you know, if you, you need that extra room, maybe you're thinking that that's a great idea. But, uh, yeah, so there's the Yoder Shisham there. And here, I think this is the last one, the most expensive. We got that Lone Star Grills. Thing kind of looks like a boat, you know, uh, with with the way the trailer looks. Seven thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. Uh, I've always liked their firebox design. You know, if you're going to have a cubic firebox, having uh, you know a door on the top like that, where you can have like a flat plate, uh, you make your smash burgers on it on on the top of your firebox, and and a grill uh, coming up the top. That is really great, I think, design-wise. You got the double doors, uh, lots of wood and storage space. Front shelf comes standard. Um, if you want the stainless steel front shelf, it's $295. And if you want a single door with counterweights, it's $200. Or I guess it's counterweights for the smaller doors, it's $200. Tuning plates are included, which uh, several of these uh, smokers especially the ones with the stack on the, at the top of the chamber, uh, you know, may need tuning plates or you may want tuning plates for them and they could be extra, but this one or most expensive one, it comes with. All right. And a whole lot of upgrade options. Again, you know, just like uh, the Chisholm, this thing, you can get so many upgrade options. Uh, the Chisholm didn't have quite as many pictures. I had to go hunt hunt down pictures on their Facebook page just to show you what I did. But Lone Star Grills, very nice about giving us these pictures. Top left, you see that charcoal grill. And if you want it extra, 24 by 48, it's uh, 3,395. You got uh, the vertical, same, same as the Chisholm talked about before. 24 by 24 by 36, it's going to be uh, 1325. 24, 30 by 36, 1575. All right. If you want double lid on a storage box, and this I think is on top of the cost of a storage box, it's going to be 350. The storage box is below. Uh, you know, you have all those different sizes ranging from 1095. Uh, I guess each uh, extra inches that you put on is, is another hundred. So you can go up uh, one size for 1195 or 1295. If you want a warming oven, it's six ninety five, dollars um, And I think, you know, that would be uh, on top of the firebox itself. So everything I said about loving uh, that door to the top of the firebox would go away then. <laughs> you know, if you want a Santa Maria style grill on your trailer, uh, so that would be uh, 36 by 30. It'd be $13.95, 48 by 30. 1495 and 60 by 30 1595 uh, a second rear burner so I didn't tell you but you get one burner for is included in the the price so uh, which is nice it's nice to have stuff included if you want another one it's uh, extra 275 and now it's time for charts okay here we go base price so this is just a visualization of some information I've already given you. Uh, you see the Bell Fab down there, um, a lot less expensive than even its uh, closest competitor, Pits by Tez. The workhorse Pits is is right close behind there, um, and then Pits by JJ. Uh, I, I kept the Texas original on this one only, but you won't see it uh, on any more of these charts. Mystic 120, Horizon 24, uh, both those, both of those are the same. 
the Shirley 2x4, Big Phil's, the Shisham, and then the Lone Star Grills. Equalization. So um, where applicable, I added in the second level grate and the top uh, grate and top door for the firebox. Uh, so here we're going to see that um, as far as I know, Pitts by Tez and Big Phil don't do the top door firebox uh, grill. So I decided not to include them. All right, inches squared for the bottom racks. A lot of people only use the bottom racks to take out the top, you know. Uh, a lot of people just like cooking on the bottom rack as it is more than the top. Be that as it may, strangely enough, the Lone Star Grills has the, the smallest area, even being the most expensive. Uh, Pits by Tez, 990. So one of the things that you're going to notice is that some of these with the double doors, you know, that middle section between the doors, they're not going to have any inches there. So it's going to be a, a blank space. It's going to affect the number a little bit. The Bell Fab, uh, he doesn't do that. He, uh, you know, it's one grate. The doors, you know, he's used some sort of laser cutter. Uh, and, you know, they just lift independently, but you have to open both if you want to slide those racks out. Uh, the Mini Mini is 1012, Shirley 1035, Mystic 120, 1058, Workhorse 1093, Big Phil's 1128, Horizon 24, 1150, and the Shisham 1175. So not a huge spread here, and that's by design for our what I wanted to do with this episode of, of making very similar sized pits. All right. Dollar per inch is squared for the bottom rack. So 240 for that bell fab. It's uh, you know, nice and down there. Workhorse pits though, 365. Pits by Tez, 399, 452 for the Ryzen, uh, 472 for the Mini Mini, Big Phil's 488, Mystic 12491. The Shirley 2x4, 527, Chisham 544, and that Lone Star Grills, as you may have guessed, is the 828 there. It's just, just a lot of money for those inches. All right, and now we're going to add that second level rack. Uh, so this is everything in the main chamber. Uh, Pits by Tez coming in at the bottom there, again, because of the, uh, you know, the partition there between the doors. 1350, Mini Mini at 1540, Bell Fab 1540, Workhorse Pits uh, 1700, Shirley a little bit bigger 1707, Lone Star Grill 1722, Big Phil's 1740, Horizon 24 at 1796, the Chisham at 1893, and the Mystic Smokers at 1955. So one thing that I do want to point out about the Mystic Smokers is that it was an estimate. They told me, like I said before, that the tanks are, are slightly different sizes. He gets them, I believe, secondhand and then sandblasts them so that they're all cleaned out. But um, yeah, so that's a rough estimate, but still impressive. All right, dollar per inch is squared, all the main chamber. The Bell Fab at that very low price. The Workhorse Pits right there. Uh, behind at 241 and uh, you see it going up there incrementally so we get the Lone Star grills all right then I equalized it took out pits by Tez and, and big fills uh, I, I believe that they're all pretty much in the same order that they were beforehand so not a big change here all right wait so you know Weight is something that's also very much uh, estimated. Uh, when I asked Craig for his estimate of the weight of, of the Bell Fab trailer, he said uh, less than 2,000. And I just didn't think that that was a number I could use. Uh, a lot of these, especially you know, from the, the shops that are very well established, these weights are pretty accurate. Um, you know, uh, even then they may be a little bit ballpark. So Horizon 24, 1200, Workhorse 1250, uh, Pits by JJ and Shirley, both around 1400, 
the Yoder there at 1750 and the Lone Star 1975, which is very ironic that it would be that exact number when we have the Workhorse Pits with that number as part of its name. All right, dollar per pound for the ones that we we did. Uh, the workhorse easily wins it. Many, many not far behind. Uh, then the Yoder, Shirley, Lone Star, and uh, strangely, Horizon in last place. Usually Horizon does pretty well, these breakdowns. Let's see what it's like equalized. So everything stayed the same again. So, you know, just is what it is there. Average dollar per pound and uh, dollar per main chamber inch squared. So this is an average together. Uh, the workhorse pits again in front. Uh, pits by JJ after that. The Shirley after that. Chisholm, Horizon, Lone Star Grills. We are going to see when we equalized it that the Shirley and the Horizon actually changed places. Okay, so the extra expense of adding the, the firebox uh, grill for the Shirley made it go up some. All right. Now my thoughts and some considerations. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, hopefully you've watched this episode. And if you're in the market for one of these smokers, you know, you've probably picked one out. Uh, I think all of them are going to make good barbecue. I have come to school of thought that a smoke collector is, uh, you know, something that is desirable in an offset smoker. That's not everybody's opinion. Uh, most of these with the stack coming out of the top of the barrel, they're going to need some sort of uh, tuning plates uh, to uh, give an, a more even temperature. Some people don't use the tuning plate. Some people just rotate meat around, be that as it may. Uh, but my preference is, so I'm telling you my bias, is, is towards these ones on the right, okay? Now, um, that doesn't mean that some of these people won't put on a smoke collector. You know, the, the smoker I have from Craig from Belfab, I just uh, asked how much it would be extra, and, and he gave it to me, so... It's definitely a possibility there. Uh, Pitts by Tez, one man show. He'll probably do one. I didn't ask, uh, but it says on his website that he's willing to work with, with your design considerations. So uh, you have those there. Um, that being said, uh, you can make a lot of great barbecue with all of these smokers. Uh, the Lone Star Grills, quite, quite an expensive one, but... Uh, really got to think about what is your purpose in all this cooking. Uh, if you're like me and you're you're just more of a backyard chef kind of guy uh, and, and you do want something of this size, uh, generally less is more, right? You're not cooking. Maybe you cook every weekend or maybe every other weekend, but like not all the time, right? Maybe you want this trailer just to drive over to a friend's house to do some barbecue there or for some sort of gathering, right? Uh, but uh, in, in that case, you know, I think what the, the 1975 gives you, what, you know, Pits by JJ, what the Bell Fab, what Pits by Tez gives you, what the Shirley gives you is, is more than enough. When you get into to all these options of, you know, adding a pellet grill to the side, <laughs> uh, adding storage uh, lockers, adding who who knows what else, right? Uh, that's going to be your catering people. It's going to be the people who are going and, and doing maybe uh, competition barbecue. So, um, and, and not that you couldn't get some of this stuff like on a, a Shirley, you know, ask them, price that out. But... Uh, some some of these ones, especially the Lone Star Grills, just seems like it's geared for the higher end of things. Like it's it's maybe even too much for for some people. Uh, you know, prices itself out of of what I would be willing to spend. Uh, so you know what 
what do you want in a smoker? I think I think that the workhorse pits is really good as a standard. I think that if if this is the size smoker you want, uh, the fit and finish for the price is really good. Uh, they make it cheaper by only having a few options. Uh, it's uh, it works well. If you're in the bargain uh, category, Bell Fab is 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 the way you want to go. Uh, I like that Shirley is one that has a uh, a front shelf. I think uh, you know they're known for for having the best welds in the business. So you're going to have uh, a really well put together smoker. This Mystic Smokers is a very interesting uh, option. The whole tank smoker thing, I like it. I like that he repurposes them. Uh, Big Phil's is the same kind of with that, as, as well as uh, Pits by Tez. Uh, and one thing that I, I didn't mention for Mystic Smokers is I think if you're in the Georgia area, you know, he said uh, around the Atlanta area, he would deliver. I don't know if there was a cost for that. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Uh, did I miss one of your favorite smoker builders, you know, who builds something of this size and, and meets our requirements? Put it down in the comments. Uh, if you have any of these smokers, put your review in the comments. Tell everybody how great your smoker is, how wonderful it was to work with uh, the builders that you did work with. Uh, thank you all for watching the show. And as always... Go get your smoke on, y'all.